In the summer, people in Finland's capital Helsinki like to spend as much time as possible outdoors. In the mid-19th century, neoclassical buildings were constructed around the cathedral. Called Senate Square, it's one of the city's main attractions. From here, you can take an architectural tour of the past, from Finnish Art Nouveau, which you can find in many places here, to functional buildings from the 1950s by the Finnish architect and designer Alvar Aalto. Although she's not related to her famous namesake, Laura Aalto is on the organizational team for the year 2012, when Helsinki will be the world design capital. In an interesting way, you can you can find here a combination of the, the history of the past, but it's also at the same time, it's very, very forward looking, very future oriented city. And that you can find also in the in the character of people living here, but also in the way how, how we are developing this city further. New Finnish design is an example of that. The city center is home to just under 200 small and larger shops that comprise the Helsinki Design District. A large number of fashion designers are represented here. The Mion label, which means mine, has been in existence since 2002. Designer Ilona Huotulainen specializes in striking patterns and clear shapes. She finds inspiration for her collections on her travels and in her personal surroundings. There are a lot of elements in my design also that they are very Finnish. Uh, and one thing maybe is that the, there is a Finnish weather. It's, uh, certain and it's not so easy always so we have to take about uh, the functionality we have a lot of finnish customers so we have to they are quite practical so we have to think about the practical issues as well with about 170,000 visitors a year the kiasma museum is one of the most popular in finland it showcases the very latest in contemporary art and until the end of this year, it's hosting an exhibition on Africa. Pirko Sitari has been working in the museum since 2008. There are not so many museums that concentrate only on contemporary art. We have many museums that have modern art and contemporary art together, but we strictly keep on going with contemporary art. And that's a very special concept. And uh, so I think that our impact in that sense is very important in large area. On the market square, right on the Gulf of Finland, there's a traditional Finnish snack bar. For 117 years, it's been selling the typical local meat pies called lihapirakas. From here, a 15 to 20 minute ferry ride takes you to Suomenlinna Sea Fortress, which stretches over several islands in the waters just off Helsinki. The fortress was built in the first half of the 18th century as a maritime defensive fortification. Nowadays, it's a popular destination for day trips for tourists and locals alike, attracting some 700,000 visitors a year. The fortress has been a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1991. Myra Matinen is its administrative director. Helsinki people, they love this place. They want to have a picnic and, and want to rest here and, and uh, refresh here. And, and, and I think that the, why Suomelina is so important, because it's so, so uh, lean place. At this time of year, Helsinki is buzzing with life until late into the night. This far north, there are only a few hours of darkness in the summer. So residents take advantage of the long days to soak up as much precious sunlight as they possibly can. <laughs>